So this is going to be the books I'll probably never read tag, but there are five questions, so let's get started. So question one is a really hype book you're not interested in reading, and that is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I know so many people love this series, and I actually did at one point own the first book and I tried to read it, I just could not get into the story. So I don't know if it's just maybe, and I know it can be my age because I've seen people who are about the same age as me or even older who really enjoy the series, so I, I don't think it's that. I just don't know if that's just the story for me. Question number two, a series you won't start won't be finishing, and that is, um, I won't be starting the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I tried to read Vampire Academy, but I just could not get into the story. It did not grab my attention at all. Um, I've heard really good things about it, but yeah, I just don't think that one's for me. Question number three, a classic that you're just not interested in. And that one is Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Now this one, it's not so much that I'm not interested in it because I've seen the Robert Downey Jr. movies and I've own every season of uh, BBC Sherlock so I definitely love Sherlock Holmes and his stories it's just I've tried to read the books and I own um, the Barnes and Noble like bind up of all of the stories both volumes so I own all the stories it's just it's really hard for me to get through and I know that has to do with the language the way Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the story and you know how old it is and it's a classic and I've I think I've said in the past in some of these videos I do have um, a, a comprehension problem I really struggle with uh, comprehending what I read and classics are always a struggle for me because the language is so different the way the writing and the way uh, things are described is so different because of how uh, how far in the past it is and I'm here in 2018 so it's sometimes really hard for me to understand what the hell is going on in the story and I have struggled a lot with that with Sherlock Holmes so I I can't say I'll never read them I, I'm never gonna get rid of them because I want to keep them forever but yeah Sherlock Holmes is probably the one classic where I'm like that'll take me a while before I read all those um, number four is any genres you never read I never really read any historical fiction um, I tried in the past, but it just doesn't grab me that much. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that can change because I own the young adult, um, book Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz, and that's historical fiction, but right now I usually don't read it or really gravitate towards it. Um, and the last question is, a book on your shelf you'll probably never actually read, and that is Harkin by Caleb Nation. Um, I have an autographed version of Harkin, and my name's even in it, in the acknowledgments, because Caleb had this really big thing when the book was coming out, where I think if you signed up for the newsletter or something, uh, you'd get your name in the back of the book, and I did that, and so my name's in the book. So I'm never gonna get rid of it, but I've tried reading Harkin like through five times, and I just cannot get into it. So yeah, that's probably a book that I'll always keep, but I just probably will never read. So all right, so that has been the books I'll probably never read tag. Tell me down below your answer, or if you made a video, please uh, tweet it to me, and I'll check it out. And yeah. So like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time.